the MG ZST Essence with more style. More luxury. More safety tech with 360 degree camera at 33690 drive away with all options included. The award winning MG ZST Essence is the more you've been looking for. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Red Rooster, craveable golden crunchy fried chicken. In store or delivery. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Fleck here with your news briefing. Both major parties have been busy mudslinging today as the federal election campaign rolls on. The PM's been talking up around $50 million in investments to shore up the resources sector in WA. However, Scott Morrison's also accused Labor of being behind a campaign to convince people the Coalition's planning to put pensioners onto cashless debit cards, calling for Anthony Albanese to act. If he wants to talk about in, uh, trust and integrity, then he should show some today and the Labor Party should stop frightening pensioners. It is an out-and-out out disgusting lie. While the opposition leaders also shot down talk from the coalition that their green energy plans will tack hundreds of bucks extra onto people's power bills in a decade's time. He's also been talking up his underdog status with polling placing Labor ahead of the coalition on the primary vote. However, personal support for Anthony Albanese has fallen. My whole life has been one whereby I haven't got a leg up. Uh, I've fought for everything that I've got. Uh, I have a long period in public life. I've learnt so something new each and every day. Uh, I lead a team that's united. Briefly overseas and former Aussie cricket great Ryan Campbell's in a coma. His family's confirmed today the 50-year-old suffered a heart attack while playing with his kids at a playground in the UK. And a new treatment centre's opening in Canberra to sort out people with long COVID. It'll focus on helping those who have symptoms three months after first falling ill. It's estimated tens of thousands of Aussies are affected. Ergon is urging drivers to slow down when roadside power line works are in progress. Please follow the traffic control signs and speed limits for everyone's safety. Mitch Barnett's been released from the final year of his contract at the Knights. It means the forward will leave Newcastle at the end of this season. And the Titans admit there's a lot of work to do ahead of their clash with the Cowboys Saturday. Centre Brian Kelly admits their loss to Manly last round was an eye-opener. I don't know, it's a bit of a habit at the moment, playing a bit of two halves, I guess. So, yeah, starting off not as sharp as we wanted, but going into the break 20, I think 24, 8 or 24, 4, some of that. So, yeah, we should have started the where we first came. The old coast is known to say it's never been to play this weekend. Showers for central Queensland this afternoon, 28 the top in Rockhampton. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 31 in Rocky, partly cloudy, 29 in Gladstone. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download the app now to listen live or on demand.